Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation on our paper Effects of Semantic Segmentation Visualization on Trust, Situation Awareness and Cognitive Load in Highly Automated Vehicles. I am Mark Kolle from Ulm University. With automated vehicles, the user can engage in non-driving related activities, while it is assumed that safety will be enhanced. However, these advantages only come into play when under and over trust is omitted, as these could lead to abusive system usage. Overtrust could manifest itself in using the automation where it is not defined for. Possible undertrust, for example, was reported by Schirtle and Sivak, who found that 75% were at least slightly concerned about system failure in unexpected situations. Therefore, system transparency was proposed to enable users to adjust their trust levels and to receive more information about system capabilities. It is, therefore, especially relevant to convey uncertainty to the user as to calibrate trust. But which information should be displayed and how? The first prerequisite for safe driving is the detection and recognition of relevant objects. According to Chen et al., the most relevant objects are cars, pedestrians and bicyclists, but also static objects such as signposts. Prior work investigated the highlighting of other vehicles or pedestrians and their intentions. With regards to conveying uncertainty, especially Kunz et al. investigated a set of visual variables to show one's own trajectory. However, the own trajectory is only determined after a series of information processing steps as, for example shown in this model by Parasura Man et al. This can also be found in the functional architectures of automated vehicles. Therefore, the uncertainty of the driving task starts in the acquisition of data about the vehicle surroundings which is often done via semantic segmentation. We propose to visualize the result of this semantic segmentation task to the user. In the first technology-independent concept, we only visualize dynamic objects. In the second, we visualize signposts additionally. We implemented these with an AR windshield or displayed on a center stack. In an online simulation pre-study with 32 participants, we compared these four conditions plus a baseline. For this, we used the colors we found based on a systematic literature search. We found that the AR concept with dynamic and static objects was rated significantly better in terms of usability, trust and personal preference. In an online follow-up study, we increased external validity by using a video captured while driving through a European city. Afterward, we used Panoptic Deep Lab by Cheng et al a state-of-the-art semantic segmentation. This visualization directly includes uncertainty information through the colorization of the pixels. We compared the preferred system from the first survey to a baseline with no visualization in a within-subject study with 41 participants. While we found significantly higher ratings for perceived situation awareness with the visualizations, we found no significant differences for mental load, trust and usability. As perception was rated significantly better with an AR visualization, we assume that a user of an automated vehicle will, at first, be very skeptical about the possibilities of such vehicles without communication or visualization of capabilities. Therefore, the proposed visualization seems to be appropriate to calibrate user expectations about the vehicle's capabilities while still maintaining a moderate level of trust. Thank you for your attention.